Is this now dry, salt-caked lake bed in Botswana the ancestral home to all of us? Not far away are wetlands that bear some resemblance to what existed tens of thousands of years ago when early humans began to flourish in this part of the world. Vanessa Hayes of the University of Sydney and other researchers have tested DNA from people descended in this region of southern Africa. They mapped both genetic material and the geography, climate and archaeology to conclude that early humans here didn't all stay here. The climate in southern Africa changes at 130,000 years ago. And these early ancestors of ours migrate out of this region. So essentially, these ancestors were the first human explorers. The geological evidence suggests in what is now Botswana, a giant lake, Lake Magadigadi, once existed, as large as our five Great Lakes. About 200,000 years ago, early humans lived there for 70,000 years. The Earth's orbit and climate changed. The lake began to break up into massive wetlands. Lush green corridors were created to the northeast and southwest, and early migration patterns began. To the northeast, farming was developed. To the southwest, coastal foragers. Humans were on the move. It is the migration by the ancestors of the people living in this region today who are linked to the more than 7 billion genetically diverse people that now exist all over the world. Other researchers are dubious. They point to fossils found in Morocco of the earliest Homo sapiens dating further back 300,000 years. And some critics say the study in one region cannot fully address the complexity of human development and migration. But the University of Sydney team say other findings may be from an extinct branch of human history. They suggest the Homo sapien lineages from southern Africa are still with us today. For many, the science is a work in progress, and the study of the origin of the species is still evolving. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.